Okay, on this video we're going to do a uh, an upload and a download. So let's get started. Uh, what I'll do is I'll click upload. And I'm going to select my network. This is going to show me if, if uh, there's anything available to upload from. And there is. 1.11. I'm going to click on that and say upload. So the reason I do an upload initially is so I have a reference point. So as I'm making changes in the program, if something goes wrong and I need to back up to the most recent working version, that was the upload. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll upload, I'll save it with the time that I do the upload. Um, if I make any modifications to the program, I will uh, save that as a new name, something like mod, M-O-D. So I'll show you that here as, as it gets going. Um, just having to wait for a second or two. This program has always been kind of slow to start. Uh, it's not really a function of the computer it's running on. It's just, I um, guess it has a lot going on. And uh, so definitely it just takes a, a minute or two for it to start up. Nothing wrong. All right. So I, I clicked on upload. And what I'm going to do is say select file. It wants to know what file name would I like to save this as? So I'm going to type uh, upload. Today is 1.30, so 01.30.2022. It is 1.30 in the afternoon, so 13.30. Okay. And I probably should, let's let's uh, give it a name. We're going to call it, it's, this is the 1.11, so I'm going to call it O N E dot one one so these file names cannot start with a number so I have to put a letter up front so one dot eleven select do I want to create this file yes of course and here it comes so it's uploading across Ethernet right now so it takes a second to upload uh, Keep in mind that if you ever have to, you can plug a USB cord into the front of the processor and do an upload across it if for some reason you can't get online with it. So here is the program that's running in the processor. It's a really short program that I wrote just to demonstrate uh, toggling of bits. So let's toggle these bits off right here. So toggling works when you, uh, when you have base tags like these. This is an alias tag alias tags connect to the outside world so um, I can toggle base tags on when I do that I'm turning on a real output just as a coincidence because uh, this is an alias tag for output one uh, here's a, a base contact tag and a base coil tag so just lots of little things to keep in mind. Um, so back to what I was doing. Um, before I make any changes to this, I'm going to do a file, save as. And I'm going to give it a name. So instead of upload, I'm going to call this mod. Okay, so mod means modified. I like to do that so that I know, you know, incrementally as I'm making program changes, I can save it as uh, something slightly different. It's now... 32 minutes after one so I'm just do a save right there uh, it says do I want to upload the online tags from the processor and I'll say yes so now this is called 1.11 mod okay it's been modified I do have the original file out there it's saved on the hard drive I'm not I'm not going to do anything to that um, I normally like to do online edits, so let me just show you how you would do that. And then I'll do a quick 
download to the processor to show you how to do a download. So let's add a blank line here. Okay. Let's say that I really wanted it up here. What you do is click and drag, and you can rearrange the order of the of the rungs, right? Okay, so let's leave it there. Let's do another test right there. So I'm going to drag down a test, test two. And let's go over to a timer. Uh, I'll put a, um, let's do an off timer. Off timers are interesting. So we're going to call it, this is TR2. I have to do right click, new TR2, create that. Let's do a two second off timer. And while I'm doing all this, let me let me add another line in here. On this one, I'm going to use tr2.done. And I'm going to put a coil out here called off timer done. Okay, so let's make a new one of those. And I'm going to accept all changes and finalize the edits, okay? Well, something didn't go right. Test two. I have to create a new test two, okay? So when you see a red rung here, red means it's broken. You'll need to fix something on there. So this is running, the processor is running. Um, what I'm gonna do is right click on test two to, to activate it. And you'll notice that the timer done bit came on so off timer done is now true if I open that contact it starts to time out and then it turns off so it's an off off delay timer uh, you don't see a lot of off delay timers but they're very handy for what they do um, you can work around that with some on an on delay timer a ton but sometimes it's just easier to use the tof okay so anyway Back to what I was doing. So I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to change the name of this one more time because I'm making small changes to it. So, you know, it's it's rare that I would get into a point where I've totally messed up the program and I just have to backtrack, but I could. That's why I save copies of the program every so often, right? Um, so let's just say that that I need to download, I've messed this up totally. I need to download the upload version back into the processor. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go offline, okay? Then I'm gonna do a file open, and I'm gonna get that upload. Okay, so let's look. I want the ACD file. I don't want the back files, although I think these are equivalent, you know, it's in terms of the content but let's 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 not tr risk it so we're going to go with the dot the upload file right here i'm going to open that okay so you'll notice that um this is back this is the original program it's much smaller i mean i added two or three lines already so th let's say i just messed it all up we got to go back to this one what i'll do is i'll click on download and the path right here is 1.11 so that's the current path it says, do you really want to do this? Yes. Okay, so when I do this, it's going to download. Put it back online. Now I'm back to where I started. Okay, I can toggle bits. Everything works like it did. Okay, so if that's how you download a program. You have to be offline to download. So when you go offline and download, when you're downloading to the processor, it knocks the processor offline. So everything stops running. So download is something you only want to do maybe one time and then do online edits the rest of the time. Um, but and having said that, there are some things that you'll find out that you cannot do online. Things like motion control commands, like for servos. A servo, some of the servo commands cannot be updated while it's online because it's it's moving. It's, it potentially could move. So if you're working with motion control systems, um, you'll have to go offline to make some changes on those. But for everything else, it's just basic, you know, controls. You can do online edits. 
Uh, it's a little dangerous though, because if you mess up too bad, you can you can fault the processor and that shuts everything down. So, you know, generally speaking, you want to be very careful and very uh, thoughtful thoughtful with your uh, with your online edits. So let's just for fun let's um, let's do a file open. Let's get that last mod that I did, which was the 1335 mod. And have a quick look at that. Make sure that's what I want. Yes, that's the one. I'm going to download that back into the processor. Do I want to do it? Yes. There it goes. I'm going to bring it back to where it was uh, before I did the, the restore, we'll call it. Do I put it back in run mode? It's running. Uh, let's toggle this off timer and sure enough it's back where we started okay um i guess i'll talk just one little bit about this area that, that i haven't mentioned much about um the the processor runs on tasks the main task is a continuous task this little uh, arrow here tells me that it's continuous Inside that task, I have programs. Inside programs, I have routines. So I can add a new task to this. And when I do that, I have two options, periodic and event-driven. So let's do a periodic task, and I'm going to call it t uh, task 2. Okay. And let's make the, the, the period uh, 1,000. So every, every 1,000 milliseconds, this thing will fire up okay so in that task uh, it's it's empty right now let's let's right click and add a new um, add a new program okay so I'm going to call this program two okay and notice there's no routine in there so let's add a new routine I'm going to call this P2 main. And it it's not activated yet, so I'm going to go to properties. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking for something here. Well, let's let's go to program two. Let's go to uh, P two main. Let's put something in there. I want to try something out here. Uh, let's call it uh, out two. It's going to be an alias. We're going to try to turn on one of the outputs from from this program. So let's update those changes. Um, it is running right now. So yeah, it's, it's grayed out right here because this um, main routine, I mean, P2 main is not, it's not activated. Um, it's not scheduled. Let me see what's, what I can do to change that. Properties, configuration. Um, there we go. Under under configuration, I have to tell it that P2 main is the main pro the main routine in that program. Now it looks correct. So for each task, I can create programs. For each program, I have routines, and each routine there's got to be one main routine. So you can see output two turned on there. Um, every second it's going to update this this program here program 2 and do whatever it's supposed to be doing so in program 2 since it is periodic I don't think I'd like to put anything that's time based so let's let's just for fun let's throw a timer in there I'm going to call it TR3 and let's um, Let's give it a 10,000 10, millisecond delay. Okay, and let's just turn that on and watch it. Okay. 
Ah, look at that. So every second it activates this. Hmm. So the timer is running because it's been connected to the uh, power rung here, but it doesn't update until the program is scanned, which is every millisecond, every thousand milliseconds. So if I had really short time delays, it would be kind of kind of blocky. I mean, kind of. Uh, granular like th that's the term people like to throw around it would not function smoothly i don't think uh, let's try one more thing since we're just trying things let's put a tr4 in there let's make it a 500 millisecond i know i've kind of gotten away from the basic thing but it's okay we'll just kind of go with it for a few minutes so a 500 millisecond mm, that's odd See how it's shot past 500 right away. So I, I don't know. I, I would be. I would have to really investigate to see if I could put a lot of time-based controls in these periodic tasks. I, I feel like it's not a good mix. Um, so what what would I do with the periodic task? Well, if I was going to check the temperature of something every five minutes, that could be a periodic task. Uh, something that I don't really need to run every millisecond can go down here in these slower tasks right the main routine which is this one runs constantly so it's it's scanning constantly now let's go down here to the controller properties and let's see if we can find out um, if it will tell me how how quickly it's scanning things uh, don't Let's see that information coming up. Um, I know it is it is available. I'm surprised it's not just showing up right here, um, but it's not. Uh, it's available in the system. You you would have to do a, a system system value command a gsv to get that information out of it but um internally it does process how quickly it's updating the logic right it's keeping track of everything just not readily available to me so anyway i kind of went off the deep end on that but uh, so if, if i wanted to uh save this program i could do a save as i'm going to call this mod it's now 146 save that let's say I really don't like that at all what I can do is uh, I can I can I can go offline here I can do a file open I'm gonna go back to the previous one 1335 let's have a look at it yeah that was simpler so let's do a download on that going to go to 1.11 the same place we've been working the whole time um, so my periodic task is now gone program 2 is gone routine 2 is gone so a download is good and bad um, sometimes you have to do it you have to be careful with it though you can overwrite which all your work if you're not really careful so worst case scenario you're working on something you spend a lot of time making program changes to it you want to save a copy of it but you accidentally download a previous version and you wipe out all your work there's no way to recover that uh, the, the, the processor does not keep track of what was in it before if you don't save it to the hard drive you will lose it forever so make make sure you're sure that you want to download before you click that download button um, when in doubt um, save as put time and date stamp it you can always go back to it